Hi, welcome to my channel, Dr. Rajni Chinni. How much water should we drink a day and why? When I asked a few of the same question, I received multiple different answers. Like few said it's one and a half liter, two liters, three liters, and I know few who drink even four to five liters a day. Many of us are still not very clear about it. My intention in making this video is to create awareness of the importance of drinking the right amount of water that suits one's body to lead a healthy life. This is very important for everyone to know as very less or more water consumption may lead to various health complications. So stay tuned till the end of the video to understand the right quantity of water and why it is very important. Yes, drinking the right quantity that suits one's body's needs is an important step towards a healthy life. So let's get to know a few important points that why we need to be specific in the quantity too. For this, we all need to be aware that Water is the major component of most body parts. What does water do for us? What is dehydration? What is overhydration? And what is optimum hydration? So let's get into detail. Water is the major component of most body parts. Most of the human body is water with an average of roughly 70% in a normal adult. The amount of water in the body changes slightly with age, gender, and hydration levels. The percentage of body water is generally higher in kids and young adults and declines with age in older adults and the elderly. Also, comparatively higher in men than in women. The percentage of water is also different in different organs of the body. The eyes, brain and kidneys possess the highest percentage of water whereas the bones and teeth contain the lowest proportion. Let's get to know what does water do for us. Water plays an important role in saliva secretion, digestion and absorption of food. Helps in supplying nutrients, oxygen to every cell, tissue and organ of the body through blood. Supports various chemical reactions in the body. Also transports hormones, neurotransmitters and also helps in flushing out toxins and waste through urine, sweat and bowel movements. It helps in lubrication and cushioning of joints, protects the brain and spinal cord as a shock absorber, regulates body temperature. Dehydration occurs when the body does not contain enough water or fluids to carry out its normal functions. Dehydration is associated with various symptoms like mild to extreme thirst, dry mouth, bad breath, dry skin, headache, dizziness, fatigue, and even muscle cramps. Dehydration increases the risk of developing urinary tract infections, renal stones, dental caries, and constipation if continued for a long time. Frequent dehydration may also result in back pain. Spinal discs act as a shock absorbers or cushions preventing bones from rubbing together. When dehydrated, these discs thin out leading to degeneration and back pain. Dehydration is resulted not only from drinking less water than required but also can be caused by consuming too much salt like deep fried salty foods, drinking coffee, tea, aerated sugary and sugar free drinks and alcohol. When we take alcohol, water gets eliminated as urine 10 times more quantity than the alcohol intake. Drink water when you slightly feel thirsty. Do not delay as even 1% dehydration which can occur within 4 to 8 hours, it is enough to negatively impact everything from mood, memory to cognitive performance and muscle coordination. Overhydration Drinking too much water than required results in overhydration. Overhydration leads to water intoxication and hyponatremia, a condition that results due to dilution of salts and other electrolytes in the body disturbing various body functions that may show up with certain symptoms like headache, vomiting sensation, sleeplessness, cold hands and feet, dizziness, muscle cramps, fatigue, blood pressure imbalance and kidney problems. Optimum Hydration Body attains optimum hydration when we take the right amount of fluids. When we are optimally hydrated, the body performs its functions well and it's easier to maintain body temperature. Research also shows that body's metabolism is also dependent on hydration. When we are optimally hydrated, we can burn calories at an accelerated rate. Are you confused now about how much water to drink a day to get optimum hydration? 
there is no fixed set amount of fluid that a person should drink daily. The amount of water intake varies depending on various factors like age, gender, weight, health status, physical activity, and the climate where a person lives. The generally recommended intake is 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. Based on research study data, a healthy person needs approximately 100 ml of water to metabolize 100 calories of food. For optimum hydration, the average recommendation is 30 to 40 ml of water per every kg body weight. For example, if your weight is 60 kg, consume around 1800 ml to 2400 ml minimum for better body function. Most important that everyone should be aware of is urine color. Urine color is a useful guide to know whether we are drinking enough fluids or not. The darker the color, the more dehydrated we are. So aim for clear to pale yellow. Good hydration is vital for good health and well-being. Follow these six simple steps to maintain optimum hydration for a healthy life. Drink when you are slightly thirsty. Be aware of signs and symptoms of dehydration and overhydration. Make sure you consume water or fluids based on your weight and physical activity for sure. Eat water-rich fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. Minimize consumption of fried salty foods. Limit caffeine and alcohol intake. I hope that you are clear now about the importance of water for a healthy body and how much to drink in a day that suits your body's needs. In our next video, I'll be explaining the best times to drink water in a day and various interesting ways to hydrate yourself. Check the description box below for more details and reference links. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.